Hello and welcome to Friday's bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where despite my croaky throat, I'm going to attempt to solve today's Times Cryptic crossword for you, live with explanations as to whatever my brain is pondering at, at any one moment. Um, it's an exciting day, I suppose, because tomorrow is the first Times Crossword Championship that there has been for four years since pre-COVID times. Um, so I actually wonder... I wonder if Mark and I have been doing a video a day since the last Times Crossword Championship. It must be a close run thing. So that's quite a long time. Um, anyway, I hope um, anyone who watches this video who's going to be there tomorrow, do come and introduce yourself. I'd love to meet anybody who follows the channel. And um, good luck to all taking part. Uh, this puzzle today, the snitch rating is about average. So hopefully it's not going to be monstrous. We had a couple of monstrous ones on Fridays recently. Um, but let's kick off and press the... I need to do the cryptic, don't I? Right, here we go. Cryptic. Is it in the right place on the screen? Yes. Oriel, initially, on kind of perch, is a singer. Hmm... Uh, well, I've got an I've got an answer, but I don't know if it's correct, so I'm almost reluctant to say it. The word I'm thinking of is basso, um, which I think is like you know it's like a somebody who sings in the bass. I think so. It's a type of singer, like a tenor. Um, now, what I don't know, I know that a perch is a type of fish. So, I mean, if we read the clue, the clue is. If the answer is basso, the clue is trying to be very misleading. So it's saying oriole initially. Well, I think that's the initial letter of an oriole. Oriole is a bird. On kind of perch. Well, that's suggesting that there is a bird sitting on a perch, like a, a word like roost. But I think perch is also a fish. I remember that. I used to, many moons ago when I was a little child, we used to live uh, on a house that backed onto a canal. And I learned to, to fish, and the only fish you could really catch in the canal were perch. Um, so I'm wondering if perch is a type of bass. It might well not be, but I, but that would give us bass and o, and that would allow us to make basso, which I'm pretty sure is a type of singer. So I'm not sure whether to put it in or not. Let's let's leave it, but we, we might think about b, s, and o in these positions. Let's see if we can get one down. Very tough. Um, don't know. Uh, crooks outside robbery, filling sack. Oh, goodness. Um, well, mm, I haven't got this, but the way I'm reading the clue is I think that the definition is very tough. So we're looking for a 12 letter word that means very tough that might begin with B. Crooks outside. Well, that seems to me to be saying take the outside letters of the word crook, which is C and K. Then robbery. So I need some word for robbery, which I haven't thought of. I thought of heist, but I don't think it is heist. Um, filling sack. So sack could be fire. I'm wondering, I really am not sure about this basso now. Um, but I think this has got CK in the middle of it. Sack beginning with B. Bag? Very tough. Could it be back something then? That's not a bad idea. Back something in. So a robbery would have to end in in. Um, Breaking. Back breaking. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Isn't that ridiculous? I mean, that's so absurd that, that, that I've managed to solve that. But basically, that is just pure conjecture, one across and one down, working with um, minimal amounts of information, but just, just about managing to piece it together. So hopefully it was clear what's going on there. So I had the, the hint this might be a B. I could think of a synonym for back, Oh, sorry, for sack, which was bag. Um, I could then see that if I put CK in the middle of bag, I could, could construct back at the start. Then needed a seven-letter phrase or word for robbery, break-in. Back breaking, 
is very tough and that does suggest then basso is correct so that's a relief let's try we could try the long one Ugh, no now the reason i'm shying away from this is i hate 14 letter answers or 15 letter answers that don't have breaks in the words i mean i i'm going to try and get this one first um two down where tablets were taken where tablets were taken stopping pains in ailments Okay, <laughs> it's a clever clue actually, I have got this. Now I say this almost every week because in almost every Times Crossword there is one of these clues. And this is a so-called hidden, where the answer is literally written out in, in the clue. Now there has to be an indication that that is what's going on. And here the, the, the difficult word that means we're looking for a hidden is the word stopping. Um, as in a, a cork might stop a bottle. Now, what that's indicating is just as a cork would stop a bottle, it would stop the opening to the bottle. The word we're looking for is, is stopping. It's inside pains in ailments. Now, given we know it begins with S, we can actually see S-I-N-A-I, -I, Sinai. So what's this a reference to? Well, I think this is Moses. So where the tablets that had the Ten Commandments were um, were were taken down, wasn't that? Didn't Moses take them down from Mount Sinai? I think I'm not brilliant on religion. I have to tell you, but I think Sinai might be right. So where tablets were taken, Sinai spelt out in the clue. Now, one thing to score off in your mind: if you find the hidden early, there won't be another one. It's a rule of the Times crossword that there's only ever one in a crossword. So don't look for another one now. Look, and this is going to begin with con, isn't it? Which is about the most common beginning of any long word in, Eng in the English language. In other words, we're not really going to... Well, it could be conservatives. I'm seeing rightists. Tw rightists twice. Cons. Cons. Holding wild rave. So that's an anagram of rave. Where music's played. Oh. So I think the definition is where music's played. Um, don't know. No idea. Okay, let's try this one. Ten across. Most brilliant flower boxes, just the ticket. Oh, most brilliant. I'm thinking brightest. Uh, no. No. Uh, I quite like brightest, but I don't know how flower and best are synonymous. Uh, I mean, so what I'm thinking there is, I'm just going to put it in just to explain what, what my, th most brilliant. Well, that's sort of brightest would define most brilliant, wouldn't it? Brilliant as in glary. Um, flower boxes just the ticket so the word boxes here is being used not to indicate flower boxes as in places you would plant flowers but we need a word for a flower that's going to box it's going to encase a, a word or a phrase that means just the ticket well i thought right might mean just the ticket if something's right it's 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 just the ticket isn't it but that would mean best has to mean flower and i don't think it does <laughs> Uh, be aware with flower it can also be flower by the way so flower and flower or the word that looks like flower is often used to indicate rivers but I don't think there is a river best not, I mean there probably is because there are so many rivers but it but there's not one that I think is usable as in well known enough to be in the times crossword let's try this one let's see so what would that give us that would give us an H in this position three down in public, overt, I'm immediately thinking, suffers from unknown rash. Over hasty, I want that to be. Yeah, okay, that's right. So over hasty, if you do something in a rash way, you are over hasty about it. How does it work? Well, the way I got it was thinking in public could be overt. And you can see here, overt. Um, and in public is saying in a word that means public so in the word overt we put a word that means suffers from now if you if you have flu you suffer from flu don't you so has is what we put inside overt and then unknown here this comes up in crosswords a lot 
This is the mathematical or a mathematical unknown, which very typically are x, y, and z, or z if you prefer. So uh, you can see that that's this y here. So you might see solve for x or solve for y in a, in a maths question, and that's why unknown is considered to be synonymous with those things. So over hasty is what we need. Now that this one looks interesting, and brightest is still a possibility. 17, 17 across, bug. Uh, cat, no. Katie did, I want to say. I never, I'm never sure. There is a word. Katie did, isn't there? It's K A T Y D I D. I think that's an insect. But okay, I don't I don't it's obviously not eight letters though. Um bug with a thousand, I'm never sure if I'm saying it correctly. Bug with a thousand and three feet. Three feet is a yard, circling holy ground up north. Holy. Um bug with a thousand it's quite a clever clue because I haven't got a clue what it means um, if I was guessing I think it's I think it would be the name of a bug a thousand could be K K is is a synonym or is an abbreviation for a thousand as in have you got 10k to spare 10,000 um, three feet is a yard that could be this circling holy ground though see ho I'm when I see circling holy ground I'm thinking of an anagram of the word holy because if you grind to something if you mill it you 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 destroy it don't you so holy ground to me is saying grind up the word holy but that would and then so holy or could be holy ground up as in grind up the word holy and then n could be north at the end and the whole thing means a bug but i don't i don't know it i don't know it. let's try 12 cross uh, the king drunkenly speaking made up words oh goodness uh the king er for edward rex maybe drunkenly speaking made up words i don't know i want that to be something like irish or something <laughs> which i don't think it is <laughs> let's try 20 across easy to take in water it gets knocked back easy to take in naive is what i'm thinking of evian yeah okay so it's a reversal of evian which is obviously a uh, it's a mineral spring and we know it as water we can buy in bottles in the shops so water it gets knocked back we will knock back the word for water we get naive and if you're if you're easy to take in you're gullible or naive let's try 21 down part of the theory of relativity e equals mc squared <laughs> for the radio presenter Hmm. Yeah, okay. This, I quite like this clue. This is clever. So, I was right. It is a reference uh, to E equals MC squared. And part of, for the radio here is a very, it's not a common, but often in times crosswords, you have to think about homophones, words that are spelt differently but sound the same as other words. Now, if I was to write in here, MC, an MC is like a, a, a DJ. It's a master of ceremonies, isn't it, literally? That is most certainly a presenter. But also, if we say E equals MC squared, mass times the speed of light squared, it would sound like uh, that MC we're saying in the equation spelt differently could be this which is the radio which not the radio it's the presenter we're looking for the for the radio is telling us it's a homophone so that i, I quite like that that's a very unusual construction uh but look we've got oh no it's another 14 discerning okay 
I'm going to st I'm going to have a quick look at this because detectives. I'm thinking immediately detective inspectors, so d DIs, and that would be a very so disc something to mean discerning is what I think. I think it's the only word I'm coming up with there is discerning. <laughs> a tailed felon with money a thousand pounds. Tailed felon. Con. Dis. Con. Discerning. Dis. I am extremely dis. Discerning. I'm very dis. I don't know. I don't know. Let's cross out the dis. Uh, 13 down. Red cat follows, e.g., rats up until noon. A.M. must be until noon, isn't it? Red. So is this a word that means red is cochineal or something? Is that a type of red? I can never, I'm never very good on those sort of heraldic weird colours. Cat follows e.g. rats. What, what does e.g. rats mean? Vermin? And that's... Oh, vermilion. Ver that's something, isn't it? Cat could be lion. Oh, goodness me. Right, that's really difficult. Okay, it's right, though. I think it's this word, which is a word if I was asked to spell, I would always put double L in. But I think this, the wordplay here has helped me out. So I think vermilion is a type of red. Um, now, cat is a lion. And then that follows, e.g. rats. Well, what are rats an example of? They are an example of vermin, but we don't take the whole of the word vermin. We take the whole of the word up until the N, which uh, is an abbreviation for noon. So again, let's go to the dictionary. You can't just abbreviate anything to its, uh, any, any word to its initial. It has to be supported by the dictionary. So if we click through if we click through the literally the letters n there you'll see it there noon and that is why this noon can be used for the to say we are only going as far as the n in the word verm, vermin we add that to the lion vermilion uh, i'm not changing the answer so i am happy to look that up and let's just look at it together and i'm hoping it will be there there we go a bright red pigment who knew um I only just knew. <laughs> Let's. Well, what's this then? Back breaking. The king, drunkenly speaking, Elvis, Elvish. Oh, <laughs> that's magnificent. That's Tolkien. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so um, <laughs> this is outrageous. Okay, so the king is not talking about Edward Rex. Um, it's talking about the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Um, and um, if 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 you were saying Elvis in a drunken way, you might go, "Oh, there's Elvis over there." You know, you'd, you'd slur, wouldn't you? And you might add an a huh sound on the end. So. Um, so drunkenly speaking, the king of rock and roll is Elvish. <laughs> and made up words, or well, Tolkien made up the language of Elvish. Um, which is, oh, that's wonderful. I really, really like that clue. That's my favourite clue in some time. Oh, let's go back to this one then. Is this the bug? Uh, um, nah. I don't know. No, I'm not, I'm not getting that let's try that one then not becoming popular not becoming so i think this that will be the definition not becoming because popular if you're popular you're in and that looks very nice as the start of this word indecent maybe yeah so how does that work so not becoming is indecent popular is in anglicans church of england there ce and they are beset by, they are inside a word for a depression, which is dent. So we get indecent as a result of that. And look at these rubbishy letters we're getting. Um, okay, I'm going to have to go further afield. Let's try four across. Do up judges' clothing. 
close to late autumn period fall must be autumn period downfall or something um, do up judges clothing judges clothing wig gown oh i don't know i mean i'm, not, I'm just not sure what that is let's try four down Troops contend with formal inspection. Contend with, to contend with can be to vie, V-I-E. So that's where I'm, that's where my brain is going here. Ah, no, okay. I was almost right. It's review, this one. And, and you can see again how I had a tiny, tiny little bit of knowledge there, which was vi being a synonym for contend with. And that, that was enough, because once I'm thinking vi as I'm reading the clue, it, it, it's not beyond the wit of man, indeed this man, to think of review as an inspection. And then it's a case of, okay, well, can I fit that round, the rest of it? Now, troops, troops is one of the most horrendous things to see in a cryptic crossword. Troops or soldiers, because there are so many little abbreviations let me just list some of them for you or we'll have a look at that how can or be other ranks in a, in a military sense so if you see troops it could be or ra it could be ra because if we go we'll look through those ras there royal artillery it could be sas it could be gis from america it could be in, and what it is in this one is RE, Royal Engineers, which will hopefully be there, Royal Engineers. There are so many of these small abbreviations for soldiers that it, it's, it's, it makes it very difficult to really, uh, to be sure which little abbreviation. I mean, troops could even be men, M-E-N, it's a short synonym, often used in constructing words, isn't it? So, but here it is RE. We add that to VI for contend, not contend with, because this W is actually with. Uh, if we go to with in the dictionary, well, if we go to W in the dictionary, I think we will find, let's go probably here, with. It's the final justified word that can be abbreviated to W. And then formal inspection is a review. Now that's interesting for this one, which now looks like it might be conservative rightists, conser, conser, co conservatoire. Where's music's played? Is it is it actually a reference to conserver? Oh no, it's not. It doesn't fit. Or conservatoires maybe. Tories, conservatories. Uh, something oh no hang on conservatories like that yeah oh, this is right isn't it because what this is rightists yeah, i think it's right is is cons is a shortening form of conservatives tories is a word for a conservative polit uh, politician or supporter so those rightists in plural would give us cons and Tories, and they, are, they hold an anagram of rave in the middle of them. And where music's played, conservatories would be where. Uh, I think there is a word. I'm not changing this, by the way, so I'm just going to check whether conservatoire is also in the dictionary. I would have thought it was, but conservatoire, a school of music. There you go, it is. I hope conservatories is right then. Oh, look, and conservatory is also a school of music. So those are synonymous. They've been spelt so similarly, isn't that? Well, anyway, we're not, we're, we know, we know which version we want because of the wordplay. Let's try five down. That's three words. Tacky products banned completely. Don't mention it. Not at all. If you say don't mention it, you, you'll say not at all. I don't know why it's that. Yeah, I'm going to put it in and try and justify it. Tacky products. Tat, surely. Banned completely. Uh, don't mention it. Oh, I see. No tat is is an expression that you might say if tacky products were banned. You would say no tat. 
and then completely is all <laughs> so not at all um, is what you can deduce from that and not at all if we put the word spacings in a different place now what's this one do up renew uh, judges clothing close to late autumn period judges I mean to judge is to rate renovate November is something like renovate isn't it okay I mean that's this is tricky as well because judge is an awkward or judge's clothing as well it has that has short synonyms associated with it judge can be J as well but do up is renovate how does it work well a short synonym for judges into uh, you know to judge a performance is to rate something so we've got rate here clothing so it surrounds close to late well that's the closing letter of the word late which is E, which is that E there. And an autumn period is November. So that gives us the nov here. So we get R, well, we get rate around E nov to give renovate. Six down, like some complaints, viral surely. Ubiquitous on the internet. Well, that's a double definition. If something is ubiquitous on the internet at any one moment, you would certainly describe it as viral. These are the sorts of videos that we aspire to, but don't get gifted anymore. Um, so <laughs> viral there. Do like the video, by the way. If you do like it, I mean, that's the. I mean, that hopefully goes without saying. But I think some people really like the video, but then they don't remember to like it, and that's well, that's fine too. But it would it would help us if you like the video, if you do like it, and even. Even if you don't it would still help us though this looks like brightest doesn't it ah oh, best for f what am i missing there flower flower to flower is that to best no it's not i mean i've got i'm not going to have anything better than brightest for the brightest for that anyway let's try 11 across large duck wanting day in den on river the River Loire. A de oh, a den in the, oh, on a river could be a lodge. Don't, who has lodges? Is it beavers? Let me just look at that lodge. How's that working? Large. Large can be L, as you might see that on a T-shirt label. L would mean large. Duck can be a zero, as in if you score a duck in cricket, you get zero, and therefore in, in cryptic crossword land, duck and zero are synonymous. So L O, wanting day, D can be day, in den on river. Large duck, wanting day. Then on the river. I, I don't know why it's that, if it is that, so I'm reluctant to put it in. Let's try seven down. Ornament. Trinket. Packaging made badly. Okay, it's not trinket. We're, but we're looking for, I think, a five treadmill is what I'm now thinking. Uh, so a trill for an ornament. I think that's right. Okay, so we're looking for a five letter word for an ornament which is going to package so it's going to contain made badly that's an, that badly here is being used as an anagram indicator so we need to anagram the word made put it inside a five letter word for an ornament and that's going to mean something that's tedious work and i think that treadmill is looking very good there certainly got an anagram of made in and trill for ornament it feels about right that would actually support lodge as well wouldn't it Large duck wanting day in den on. Large duck. Hmm, I don't know. Let's let's bear in mind this could be E, which is hardly very um, very helpful. Black ice. I'm thinking just just from the letters we got here. Uh, maybe slip on this. Well, it's going to be black ice. Um, jacket of beautiful. So that's saying take the jacket, the coat 
of the word beautiful. That's the B and the L, the outside letters. Jewels are ice, I think. Yes, it, this is right. So jewels and ice, uh, ice is a slang term for diamonds. So jewels and ice are syn synonymous. And that's plugged. So we've got BL and ice plugged as in filled by A. That's that A. And a fashion label is CK, Calvin Klein. Um, my knowledge of fashion label, I know you won't be able to believe this looking at me. I'm obviously a very dapper gentleman, um, but my knowledge of fashion labels is not great. It really isn't great. So whenever I get one in, in a crossword like this and I actually understand it, I feel a sense of relief. Uh, 15 down. Um, get on well with con... Uh, I don't know, it's going to be something like to be convivial or something. Uh, with one in club offering enticement. One in club. Uh, a club is a kosh, maybe? C-O-S-H. So we could put an I in the word kosh. Get on well with co compliment i don't know i'm not getting that one let's try this one then so, okay i don't know i haven't i haven't read beyond the first two words here but that word sestet is so suspicious to me uh, i'm i'm convinced this clue will involve an anagram of sestet somehow why on earth would you use the word sestet in a clue if you didn't need those exact letters you'd never choose to use that word so uh, is it an anagram Sestet with score in triplicate. Ooh. Oh, maybe it, making this record. Oh, right, it's not an anagram. It's 78, isn't it? Sestet. Okay, so is a sestet 18? I didn't even know that. Um, because I think what this is saying is if you sc score in triplicate, it's not saying score a hat trick. It's saying what is a what is what number does a score represent? Well, it represents twenty. So in triplicate, that would give us sixty. Uh, now I know that there is a record, an old record, which was a seventy-eight. I, just, I think I know that. Sometimes these clues make you doubt you doubt your own sanity. And that's so ses, if sestet means 18, we could add 18 onto 60 and we would get 78. So that's that's currently how I believe that clue works. Lodge is looking great here, isn't it? Large duck. Do I know any synonyms for ducks? Ida is the one that pings to mind, but that doesn't look great. Mallard. Teal. Large duck. Wanting day in den. And it must wanting day in. A loge isn't a large duck, is it? L O G E? I thought that was like a theatre box. Large duck. Wanting day in. Oh, I see. No. Okay, it's not. <laughs> It's not talking about a duck as in something that goes quack. It's talking about to duck as in to dodge. Um, and if if you take the word dodge and it wants for the a, a D for day, so let, let's knock out the first D in the word dodge, we get odge. Add that to L, we get lodge, which is a den on a river. Okay, so duck and dodge, it was what I was missing there. It reminds me, my my father is 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 called Robert and his friends call him Bob. And apparently when he used to have a business up in London, people used to pop their head in the door and say, Bob about. And the whole office would start doing this. <laughs> anyway, let's go. 18 across. Lime mixed with, oh, lime mixed with G&T. So that sounds like an anagram of G&T and lime. And gimlet or lime mixed with gin. I've got no idea if a gimlet is lime mixed with gin, but I certainly that's what the clue seems to be telling me. So let's hope that's correct. Um, I haven't got, I'm not going to have a better answer than brightest for this. So let's put that in. 
So it, well, one thing we don't understand at this point that we'll check, I mean, I'm not going to change that answer. So maybe we, um, maybe let's look up. Maybe there's a river best. It could be. I don't know it. I don't. Um, I don't. I just. I mean, I don't even think there's any point looking up flower. I mean, if we, if we, or let's look up best and see if it's a type of flower. It's not going to be. No. Smart clothing. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't mean flower, does it? Best. 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 I just don't think it does. I mean. Let's check flower, see if it's got some funny meaning that I don't know. A fungal growth. A term of endearment. Oh, no, you wouldn't use best as a term of endearment. A figure of speech, an ornament of style. Mm, the embodiment of perfection. Well, that would be the best, wouldn't it? The oh, There it is, the best of anything. The What? I've never seen that before. I suppose you would you say the flower of you are the the apple of my eye. You are the flower of my you are the I don't know. I would never have, I've never heard it used that way. But anyway, that's clearly why it's that. So that's good. Um, so we, we're not doing too well. We've not really looked, to be honest, in the southeast corner, have we? Where should we look first? There is a school of thought that says you should start off down here in crosswords because the constructor will have got tired by the time they set these clues. And so these are likely to be gimmies. Let's see if that's true. 23 down, 1970s film, frame from Altman, absorbing fiction. Well, okay, I have got that. So we are looking for the name of a 1970s film. Must have been late 1970s. Um, starred Sigourney Weaver. The frame from the word Altman is the framing letters the outside letters so that's a and n and that has to absorb a short word for a fiction well if we put lie in the middle we get alien which is a 1970s film apparently i would i probably would have guessed about 79 so um 26 across belief tenet which might come from the left or the right okay so the this is tenet because this this phrasing at the end of the clue which might come from the left or the right is not referring to the political left or the political right it's saying that it's a palindromic word um it could come it could be spelt forwards or backwards and it would stay the same so that's definitely going to be correct now if we look to this one no rehear re rehearse eulogy that must inspire court well, I think this means rehearse. And I think we're looking for, oh, I have got this actually. So I thought we were looking for a word for a eulogy that's going to inspire CT, which can be an abbreviation for court. The other short synonym for court that sometimes comes up is to woo, woo. Um, but woo in the middle of an eight letter word in this construction doesn't feel great, does it? So we're probably looking for a six letter word for a eulogy. And if you think of the word praise, and you put CT in the middle, you can get practice. And if you practice something, you rehearse it. So this is this is going to be, oh, something yard then. Kirkyard? Holy ground up north. Oh, that's mean. A kirk, a kirk, I think, is a Scottish word for a church. So kirkyard is probably right here. Oh, to irk is to bug. If you irk someone, you bug them with a thousand. Oh, no, hang on. Irk. So a uh, bug with a thousand, I think, is irk with K for a thousand. And then three feet for a yard. And three feet. What's the word circling doing here? Oh, I see. Okay, no. What it's saying is bug, irk, with a thousand, which is K, and yard, circling the word irk to give kirkyard, which is a holy ground up north. That's very difficult. I mean, the only way you get that is by basically solving all of the crossing entries, unless you are a complete genius. Uh, so let's try 22 across. 
crack team at sea, I'm thinking anagram of crack team, makes decisive act on board. Checkmate, surely. No. It must be checkmate. Why? Oh. Crack. It must be checkmate. Team at sea. Okay, that team at sea is an anagram of team. That gives us mate. So now we just need crack to mean check. To crack something. Is that to check it? Really? It's not the most natural synonym, is it? Not for, not to me anyway, but what else could it be? It must be checkmate, a decisive act on a chessboard. Let's see if this K is justified. Oh, get on well, click. If you click with someone, you get on well with them. Clickbait. With one in club, offering enticement, yes. So clickbait is something that is a form of online enticement, isn't it? Click and then bat for club with I in the middle of it for one. Um... Right, so we've got two left. We don't well, we don't really understand check and crack being for not synonymous, but it must be right. Nineteen down. Nineteen down. Paint great work, filling in outline from du du buffet. The outline from du buffet must be the outside letters D and T. So we need a great work, an epic, depict. If you paint, paint a picture, you depict, don't you? So great work, epic in DT. And all, oh, discriminating, discerning, yes. Uh, discriminating. So why is this right? Detectives, DIs, tailed felon. So cr oh, criminal without its last letter. With money, tin is a sh slang for money, and a thousand pounds is G. So we had 10K, but also 10G. If, if you ask someone for 10 Gs, you would be asking them for 10,000 pounds. So a thousand pounds is just a G. Uh, and I think that's going to be correct. So the only thing, I mean, that's what I would submit. Um, the only thing that we're a little bit unsure about is check and... Um, what was it? Check was being used as synonymous with crack. Let's have a look at the dictionary and see if we can understand why. So to crack. Uh, to crack. So we're looking for something that means check here. <laughs> uh, is it there? It probably is there. I'm just not seeing it. Okay, I don't see it there. Okay, let's look at check. To verify. So we're looking for something now that means crack, aren't we? Is that is that definitely right? Crack? Was that crack? Yeah. I'm just, I'm not, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, you'll have, oh, a, a small crack. There it is. A small crack in veneer or timber, etc. I mean, it's literally the last definition. And it's not one I knew. So a, ch a check is a crack in timber. I mean, yeah, if you say so. Uh, not one, not a word I knew at all. Oh, let's look up basso. Um, because, um, so, oh, let's look up perch as well. I said perch was going to be a type, must be a type of... Hmm... Okay, perch is a spiny freshwater fish of the genus Perca. Okay, that's not quite the same as a bass, is it? At least I don't think it is. Let's have a look. Oh no, there you go. So under bass, there it is, of the perch family. Okay, fair enough. And then basso is going to be the, I think, somebody who sings with a very bass voice. Um, yeah, bass. Oh, I can't actually see it there. It must be there. Oh, there we go. From the Italian form, basso. So is there anything else that we didn't check on the way through? Elvish? Uh, I don't think so. Let me just have a quick look in case... Well, we looked at Vermilion, didn't we? Yeah, it's a very nice puzzle, that. I've, I very much appreciated the Tolkien drop-in. And, um, yeah, it was a very fair puzzle as well, because even... 
even words like kirkyard oh, we didn't look up kirkyard but it's clearly correct but it was gettable because the check checking letters were so helpful kirkyard there it is gosh imagine if you saw that spelling kirkyard <laughs> evil anyway thank you very much for watching um do drop a comment let us know if you enjoy this this trip into cryptic crossword land once a week um and we'll be back later on with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.